Hi everyone, welcome to the new video. So today we will see uh, that what error was causing a pod to go into crash loop back state uh, and how did we debug it and uh, this is uh, this I am discussing because uh, in uh, interviews uh, there are many questions related to uh, real time scenarios that how many issues have you worked on and uh, uh, how did you debug it so to prepare you well for these type of questions i am here with this video so without further ado let's go so when we checked the pod status it was in crash loop back state because of which application was not coming up or it was not even starting the pod was not even starting so when we checked the log it was clearly saying when we described the pod so first in this when we describe the pod we get event okay uh, in the uh, bottom in the left uh, when we describe the pod uh, first uh, there will be like uh, the uh, details of the pod like what image has been used what all configuration is there but at the end of the, the details there will be events so we have to see those events first so we, uh, in events it was clearly written that liveness prop failed because it is giving 503 error so uh, because of which so what is happening uh, we'll understand uh, what is liveness prop and what it does so that we are more clear okay and then when we check uh, kubectl logs uh, we saw that there uh, it is trying to start the application but app it is before connection is happening it is again getting killed because what happens liveliness prop what it does so before you know getting into the getting deep into this we'll understand what is liveliness prop so liveliness prop and there is readiness prop liveliness prop is actually to check that whether the application is uh, or you can say pod is up and running or it is not stuck or something is not um, everything is working fine or not basically it checks that and if it founds that something is not fine if the status is like and we see that there is another status like 500 or something it will try to restart the pod okay that's why when liveness prop uh, gets the status of 503 it is trying to restart the pod again and again and that's why pod is going into crash loop back state okay because pod is not able to come up and it is restarting again and it is this is going into infinite loop and that's why again and again the pod is going into crash loop back state okay readiness prop is uh, we configure uh, to check that whether pod like whether the application is ready to accept the traffic like pod will be up and running but whether it is serving the traffic or not uh, so readiness prop what it does it doesn't restart the pod or do anything it will just stop the traffic so when it sees that database connection is not happening or there is you know so much overload on application that it is not responding it is stuck it will stop the traffic that's it. The function of liveliness pros and readiness is this and the difference. So why? Why liveliness prop was getting 503? Okay, but because when we checked in logs, it is saying that it is starting user profile application, loading user cache, connecting. So why it is getting 503? Now we'll understand. When we configure liveness prop and readiness prop in YAML file, we need to give the path, we need to give the port where it needs to check the health, and then we need to give the time. So we need to give the initial delay seconds and the period seconds. So what is initial delay seconds like? After how much time the uh, check should start? okay so after how much time we should start the check like if the pod is deployed now so after 60 seconds it should start the liveness prop check so it means 60 seconds after pod is deployed from that time 60 seconds 
and period second is after every 10 seconds starting from 60 seconds so after every 10 seconds from after 60 seconds it should check so from 60 it will again check at 70 then it will check at 80 it will check at 90 okay so this is what initial delay second and period seconds refer to uh, here also initial delay second period second refers the same so what we saw that when the application is starting it is taking time and the probe is starting the liveness probe is starting before that check before the application is getting started which is why it is getting 503 error and it is not letting application to start properly and it is again restarting it so if we either if we uh, there is two solution to it okay we there is one more probe which is known as starter probe we add that so what it will do it will unless and until uh, startup probe is completed means the application has not started the liveness probe will be dis inactive you can say it will not it will not start and unless and until a startup probe has not started like our application is not up and running the pod is completed unless and until that liveness probe will be not uh, active or else the another simple thing is you delay the seconds more like estimating that what how much more time your application will take usually you delay the seconds and then the check should start but the best method will be startup pro okay so this was one of the scenario that you can describe if something is asked related to the uh, uh, errors or issue you have worked on so that's all that's all for today's uh, video i hope it's helpful please let me know your views in the comment section till then take care bye